Welcome to the Shallow Sport Factory. So I'm here with Wes Hudson, you guys. He owns uh, Shallow Sport Boats. Took it over from your father, correct? Yep, 20 been years ago. Over 20 years ago now, and uh, three generations of boat builders in the family, so they know a lot about building boats. And we're in the factory here, and he's gonna give us a tour where the boats start out, where they finish, and uh, show you guys along the way. So where are we at right now? All right, so this is uh, the beginning of the line. This is the paint department. So all the boats start with a mold. As you can see here, this is a mold that's been prepped. It's been waxed, and it's ready to be painted. So whatever color the boat was ordered with, that's the color we're gonna paint into the mold. So it starts with the paint, and then we work the fiberglass from the outside in. Okay. Which model is this? This is the 18 Sport. We have 11 different models from 18 all the way up to 32 feet. Gotcha, so we have a 25X3. They got a new 32 footer coming out. They got them, 18 is the smallest, correct? 18 is the smallest, yeah. Gotcha, so they got a wide variety. And you can see all the different molds in here. This is one of our X3 uh, 25 foot molds. And as you can see, the bottom is basically the opposite reflection of the boat. So that's what we paint and that's what starts to make the shape of the bottom of the boat. So our boat, you would never know. This is how it starts out, but it's pretty It's cool. inside yeah. out. It's literally inside yeah. out. It's weird. But you can see how intricate the bottom is. Yeah, no doubt. Compared to like a, a flat edged V-hole. It's so weird seeing see it. see why the boat does what it does. So these are lifting so, rakes? Yeah, they so they're lifting rakes. So as the water hits that, it deflects and it creates positive energy, which gives you lift. Yeah. And not only that, instead of deflecting it all the way out, they actually grab the water and it rolls into these little tunnels. And that gives the boat tremendous lift. And that's why the boat can run so shallow is because we're literally flying above the water uh, like an airplane wing would with air. Yeah, We're using the water and the positive injury to lift the boat up. Right. And you, you would never know that just looking at the boat, but Correct. all the little things that go into it, and all the little nuances and engineering components to it. We're here for the owner's tournament. Do you know how many boats you're going to be fishing at? I know we've got over 250 boats pre-registered, so it's going to be a big tournament. We've got a lot of people, they say some rain's coming, but they ain't scared a little bit of rain and weather in Texas, I'll tell you that. So <laughs> let's keep looking at this stuff. All right, guys, so you can see we're in the next phase, and this is where we're actually putting the fiberglass into the hole. And like I said, we, we work from the outside in. So the first layer goes in, and then a second layer and a third layer. We've got about five different layers throughout the entire boat and every single layer has to be hand rolled with a little roller. So it's a very meticulous, uh, time consuming job. You gotta do it in a certain amount of time because they can dry sure. uh, before. And back there when we looked at that other mold for the hollow, you guys could see all like the lifting rakes up there and how everything runs, how in intricate, you know, the mold is itself in the hull. The look back here, you can see everything designed with the engineering in mind. So after the fiberglass is put in the hole, uh, we, we come over here to the grinding area and you actually have to grind the fiberglass before you can start uh, glassing more stuff to it. So if it gets slick like this, you actually, it won't stick. So this is kind of the dirty part of the job where it gets uh, ground with a grinder and then we can start putting the stringers and everything else back into it. And on a typical, so no one's in here today because it's the owner's event, the owner's tournament this weekend, but on a typical day, there's 80 to 100 employees in here. Over right? 100 employees in here. Over 100 people in here working on these boats, you know. Getting them built so people like us and you guys can use them and go out there and have fish and have fun and all that stuff. Yep. Alright guys, so after lamination, we roll into the assembly department. And this is where the stringer and the bulkheads and the fuel tanks and all the, the rib cage of the, of the boat is actually installed. And um, this is probably the, the thing that takes the longest because you're reinforcing everything, you're glassing the two inch cousset of the transoms and reinforcing all the parts that are gonna take all the, uh, the aftermarket items. So after this, uh, it's gonna move forward and it's actually gonna get the deck put on. 
So this is an SCB, which you guys purchased that company how many years ago? We bought SCB about seven years ago. Been producing it here alongside Shellsport. So they're making two different brands here now. This one's got the fuel tanks in it. If you guys want to check that out, and you yes. can see all the foam around it. So all the boats uh, get a uh, roto molded poly tank, and we actually foam them in place so they're not jumping around on the inside. And you can see they're already in place, and uh, next step is going to be to fit the deck on top. So no aluminum tanks. All right, so now you can see the deck has been bonded to the hull uh, with a, it's a specially formulated bonding putty. And if you zoom in a little bit, you can actually see the bottom of the hull, you can see the putty, and you can see the top deck. Again, the top deck goes together on the hull like the top of a shoebox. So it's engineered to fit perfectly. It's permanently bonded, it's never coming apart. Then we actually go into the, the hatches and we fiberglass the top to the bottom. So it's double bonded, never coming apart. It makes a solid riding boat. You don't feel any flex. You don't have any echoing or twisting or, you know, it's just, it makes a solid, solid platform. All right, now we have the deck installed on the 25X3 hull. And whenever it's, it's done curing, which the putty has uh, cured all the way, we will uh, pop a line on the side and we'll come in with a, uh, with a saw and we'll actually cut the edge and trim it to where it has a nice clean edge for which the rub rail will then through bolt to the rail. You can see the outline here where well, that's going to get cut and Wes was just telling me, you know, you want to have some extra space so you get that solid bond and solid construction. So all that's built out there. See the putty in there? And They'll cut this along here, all the way around here. That'll, that's where the motor will go. It'll be on the jack plate here on the transom. And we've had our X3 now for about a year and a half, and we're going to build another one. I know we're excited about that. Might change up the color pattern just a little bit, but it's cool to see this thing come together and how they start and how they finish. So what process is this? All right, guys, so this is the finished department. The boat rolls out of assembly. This is where we're going to do wet sanding, buffing, cleaning. We install the cleats. We install all the hatches that we build in another department over there. Uh, all the hardware, the friction hinges, um, the through holes, the hoses, everything gets installed here in the finished department. And then you can see we've actually painted the deck. So it's ready to go. Now we'll start installing the rub rail. Once it's all pretty, it'll roll into the rigging department. And about, is this about four weeks into the process or how far? This is probably uh, five, five four or five weeks in the process, yes. Okay. Depending on uh, the options and uh, the different equipment that goes on the boat, it, it, it pushes it about a week or two. It fluctuates. So an X3 like we had, probably eight week start to finish time, kind of? Oh yeah, yeah, yours is a full eight week. Because you had a, a fully loaded dual top drive. It takes longer to do the, the dual station and everything. Definitely. Now we're into rigging. Hey everyone, this is where we're starting to rig out the consoles. You can see uh, this one's loaded out. It's got the trim tab switches, key switch ignition, jack plate indicator switch, the binnacle. Uh, this one's taking a JL Audio stereo. This is our digital switching system. You can see the amps are all installed. Uh, here's the gauge, it's your Mercury Smartcraft gauge. And then all the wiring, we build all of our own wire harnesses from scratch, and that ensures the best quality uh, copper wire. Everything is jacketed. Uh, all of your bilge pump wire is all double jacketed. So we pride ourselves in the cleanliness of our rigging. We crimp, shrink wrap, and solder every single connection on the boat. Because we know when it comes to salt water, your wiring is gonna be the first thing that's gonna give you issues. So we want it to be perfect. And I see you got any type of, you'll hang Yamaha, Mercury, Suzuki, whatever right. the customer wants? We do Suzuki, Yamaha, and Mercury. And typically it's whatever dealership sells that brand of engine is what will actually rig the motor gotcha. on the boat with. How many dealerships are there? We have eight dealers between Texas and Florida. Gotcha. You guys know I'm a Yamaha guy. That's what our next one will have, but they give you other options too, and whichever the dealers can service or sell and all that, so. What's behind the cage? Uh, behind the cage is our, that's all of our parts. So you've got anything from power poles to rub rails to batteries, tons of props. Uh, that's where everything gets distributed throughout the entire shop. Sadie, which boat do you like? That's the one you want? That one. Why that one? You like the color? It's pretty. Tell them about the tunnel. What do you want to do in the tunnel? Uh... Want to play with your friends in it? Yeah, Sadie asked about crawling at the tunnel and playing with her friends. 
our favorite, the X3. So here's a little further down the line. This is called the walk-in race console. So you have a door on the side of the console, gives you a lot of extra space for storage. Uh, you could put a porta potty in there. You could throw in bags or gear bags or anything you want. That's a very popular option on the 25 X3. What it's is our door that locks. What is our option call that we have? Uh, you have the deluxe console. And we, we, so we access ours from the back side here. He access yours from the back side. The walk-in has this built-in footrest, which makes it very comfortable for running offshore. And then of course you have the T-top option, which is on this boat, the LeBrock chair upgrade. You could do the dual top drive, the buggy top. We got a lot of different options. If you go to our website, shallowsportboats.com, we have a builder that you can click on the different options and it'll build the boat right in front of you. Colors, trailer, everything. And it has all the itemized pricing on there. Awesome. Very nice boat here. Mm -hmm. I'm carry you. Ready to go? The factory tour is getting ready to come to a wrap, you guys. We're getting closer. Beautiful boats here. Really cool to see. And you said this is a 15 footer you guys used to build, right? Yeah, this is a 15. Uh, this boat was built, uh, I would say, more than 30 years ago, but we have a full refurb center at the factory. So we take older boats, yeah. we can repaint the bottom, we can redeck the top. It's taking a new engine. We rig rig the console, so we offer those services as well for people that have still have a boat that's been out there for 30 years. So 30 years old, completely redoing it, and it's gonna look brand new, obviously. That's me. Yes, I see a kitty. You saw a kitty? Where? Yeah. You got a shop kitty? Where's the kitty? You want to pet him, Sadie? No. Meow. He's a friendly kitty. That's the that's the parts cage kitty. What do you think, Sarah? Smells like resin. <laughs> yep, no doubt. Cool, cool to see how they're built. So there's 11 different models to choose from. You know, we have the X3, and once you kind of, that's a, I guess the X3 is considered a trimaran, correct, or no? Yeah. Yeah, so once you get used to those multi hull boats, it's hard for me to get out, but this is their Mod, mod V? 24 Mod V. 24 Mod V. So it's a more traditional V hole in the front, but it goes into a full tunnel in the back, so you can, uh, if you're used to a high gunnel, V-hole boat, but also want to go shallow, the 24 Mod V is definitely a good choice. Awesome. So there's different options. You guys go to the website and check them out, like Wes said there, and you'll see it. This one's got the show VMAX on it. There you go. And now these boats can get the trim tunnel, the ta yeah, trim the tunnel tab. The tunnel yeah. tab. Yeah. And you guys kind of came up with that, huh? Yeah, so it's actually, it, it's, it's a trim tab that mounts up into that tunnel and when you lower it down with your trim tab buttons on the dash you double your fuel economy and you pick up about six to eight miles an hour so for those of you out there that kind of struggle between I, I think I want a tunnel boat but I don't want to lose the efficiency now you can have the tunnel boat and have fuel efficiency and the smooth ride and that's the tunnel tab that's the tunnel tab and that goes up underneath here you guys we saw a presentation last night at the owners meeting and at the uh, pro staff meeting and it was pretty cool to see so Always learning more. Here at Shallow Sport, we also make all the cushions from scratch and we bend and weld all of our aluminum pieces. Uh, that keeps us uh, able to actually make the piece for the boat itself and we can customize, uh, semi customize the aluminum to fit the customer's need. Definitely. And our 25X3 has an oversized top. That was more for like the 28, correct? Yeah, the, the oversized dual. Uh, buggy top with the top uh, drive, top drive like on your 25 x3 we offer on the 25 and the 28 x3 well that wraps up the tour west thank you very much appreciate yeah, no it problem. hope you guys enjoyed it a little bit from the start to the finish you can see it's a uh, well-run factory and if you guys want one what's the website shallowsportboats.com go there use the builder you can spec it all out put all your options all the colors get pricing as you go and uh reach out to a dealer and they get you set up right yep Appreciate you. Alrighty. I'm Captain Sarah Stanzik. Hi, I'm Captain Nick Stanzik. We're from Isla Mirada in the Florida Keys, and we have the Shallow Sport 25 X3. As a child, I think my dream was to have a fishing TV show, and we started doing YouTube almost five years ago. It'll be five years in July. I was just videotaping you know, a lot of our charters out there, and we'd make a video, and it was a great way to build your business, but also to create those memories and then document them so I can look back you know, with our children growing up and all that stuff so I can go watch a video and see our daughter you know, when she's a year old, two, three, four, now she's five and we have another daughter that's two and a half. 
I'm more like cinem cinematic and drone flying and beautiful transitions and artsy, and he's more like vlog style, like Captain Nick Stanza here. Fish, yeah. Oh yeah. A few years ago, we were in the market for a new bay boat. Steven had the boat down there, and I had never seen one, the X3 before, you know, or shallow sport. We were impressed with how good it rode, you know, and it was really stormy and nasty. And like, you sure you want to go? Like, that's when you want to see trial a boat, you know? And, and that was about a year ago, and then we called Wes. We ordered one, and we got it, and it's been the highlight of my last year. I, I really got it to be my boat, and Sarah's like, why are you getting this boat? But then it wound up being her boat, because she stole it from me and uses it more now, so she's out there lobstering on it, stone crabbing on it. We take the family on it, and between work and pleasure, we've really enjoyed it. We got the tower on it, so you got the stand-through tower. I'm short, I'm only like 5'1", so being like on the elevated platform and being up high, I really like that part of the boat a lot. I specifically wanted the second station, and we asked for the, it's the oversized top, it's for the 28. I mean, we'll go offshore and get, you know, get up in the tower and look for dolphin and tuna. They're in and out of the water, lobster and snorkeling, swimming all the time with the kids, the family. Some people are out there chasing the sun, we're chasing the shade a lot of days. We're sitting here in Texas right now. I've never been to something like, to this caliber, you know. They said last year there was over 270 boats here, so that speaks of the company itself, the family, you know, the Shallow Sport family, the SCB and all that stuff, and we're excited to be part of that, and the boat, no doubt, has made a big impression on our lives and really changed it, you know, for the better. We've had a lot of fun. Two days ago, we went out to our back door, you know, the big famous lighthouse, alligator lighthouse that's there, and our little daughter, Sadie, our firstborn, for the first time, like, put her face in the water and snorkeled, you know, like, saw the fish, and she kept popping her head up and was like, it's beautiful, you know, and like, to me, and we were on the X3, you know, doing it as a family. That boat, you know, the X3's been a great boat for us because we can take it out there for fun, and whether we've caught swordfish on it, we've caught wahoo on it, tuna, we've caught snook on it, permit, bonefish, so a little bit of everything from shallow to deep, and it's been a fun, versatile boat for us. I can't wait to see like more of our family adventures on the boat and be able to like film it. If you've never been on one, I think you should go on one because it might change your life and it might have a lot of fun and make some great memories. It's rainy, so much for a nice, beautiful day of fishing, but you cannot control the weather no matter where you go. And it is a nasty storm today for the Shallow Sport Owners Tournament. You can see the lightning flashing in the background. It is 10.37. We were supposed to meet at 6 a.m., but we just left the hotel because it's so bad. I'm not sure how many people will be out there fishing. There'll probably be a few, but uh, good kickoff party last night. We had to meet some fans, that was cool. They did a bunch of scholarship giveaways that was neat to see. A lot of people there. I think there's like 250 boats, but unfortunately the weather is dismal. In one mile, make a U-turn at East Sunset Drive. <gasps> but the fish are already wet. Sadie, say Sadie, hi. Wanna go fishing? You wanna go fishing, Sadie? You wanna get rained on? No? Too bad. <laughs> well, we're going fishing, we're gonna get rained on, but <clears throat> massive frontal line came through this morning early. Thunder, rain, lightning, tornadoes, and it has not stopped raining, but we're gonna try to catch something. It might be a cold. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. The fish are already wet. No. <laughs> you wanna go on the boat? A few people have gone out. But, uh... Here, come over this way. <laughs> We're heading out with Captain Eddie. We'll see. We're gonna win. We're gonna try. <laughs> right? We're gonna try. Like try. Sadie found her hiding spot underneath the console. And uh, there's another shallow sport model, a little different than the X3, but we're excited to go on it. And conditions are dismal, like we said, about as bad as they get. But we were in the hotel room for the last four and a half hours. We need to get out here. See what happens. It means all the other boats here, they'll have bad conditions too. But we're gonna give it a shot, see what happens.
same spot. <laughs> Brett, Provaldo, where you at Brett? Brett won the boat two years ago. Are you kidding me? He won the boat again? Brett. Did you just win? Oh you did. Nice. Woo. Nice. Brett. Oh Brett, how many tickets did you buy? We just took a picture. He won it again. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed that video. Awesome to see the factory there at Shallow Sport. Always nice to know, you know where your boat gets made, how it gets built and all that stuff. And you can see it was quality. So appreciate that. The tournament was fun. The weather was awful. So that kind of killed us, but still a great time there. And can't wait to go back next year. We're going to have a new Shallow Sport ourselves, And uh, it's going to be a fun season. So back to last week's crab video. The winner is Leo Tisha. You guessed 672 crab claws. We had 670 for the season. So you're only two away. So good guess. Shoot us an email or email address in the video description below. And you guys can head to the website, stansfishing.com. You can pick out a shirt. You guys won the contest. If anybody else wants any clothing, hats, fishing rods, shorts, go to the website, stansfishing.com. Pick out what you want. Father Day is coming up. So the fish tank's coming along. Jerry dropped off some new corals the other day. Appreciate that. We got some new anemones too. And uh, appreciate that as well. That's all I got for you guys. So hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.